the idea of having a go at a harder climb like a V5, not with the idea of finishing it, yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe doing some of the moves on it. Yeah, That's definitely. something that interests me. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you'll have the perfect solution Yeah. from the setter. <laughs> <laughs> So Fantastic. theoretically, you should have the best shot of like working the moves. Brilliant, I need all the help I can get. I want to start learning V5 techniques. Yeah. And the kind of things that I'm gonna come up against on V5s. I've never done a V5. Mm -hmm. I did one, briefly, for about three days before it was downgraded to a V4. Take any V5 that you can. Yeah. If it's labeled as V5, <laughs> that's your first V5. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'll have a go. I, I haven't root read this. Where does it start? Here? Yeah, and there's a right hand oh, around yeah. there. Oh, yeah. So there's a hold here, here. So I'm assuming I get my feet up to here, stand up fully, lean back on that. Right hand there, hand there. Twist, left foot up. Foot swap on that. Optimistically, hop my left foot onto here and stand up. You could treat that first initial look at the climb as like a draft. Yeah. As to, uh, that's how I'm roughly going to climb it and see if that works, and then you can edit it afterwards. How far off was I? Uh, you got the general direction of the climb, yeah, <laughs> and pretty much the, the right hand placements all the way through. Usually when you first jump on, you'll, you'll realise, oh, actually, my feet go over here, slightly different position. In general, yeah, it looks all right. Okay, I'll have a go. I'm not quite big enough to do this. So, yeah, there you go, there you go. Nice. Yeah, you got the start. That was good. Honestly, you worked out which foot to use. On a red V5, that's about as far as I get on a lot of them. But I, you have to start. You have yeah. to start. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. This is how I feel on like V8s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like trying to get onto the start move and just using up so much energy and yeah. like thinking, how, how else am I going to climb the rest of it? Just yeah. start. The only thing I could think of is from here, mm. my foot there, is to slowly bring my hands up here, not fall off. Yeah, but and can come you around. feel but I, from the ground? Can you feel what's going to happen when you bring your right hand over to around here? Unless you've got a phenomenal amount of core strength, you're going to bundle out and fall off. Yeah. So what can what part of your body can you use to help try and my prevent that? My left foot against the wall. Any other options? The erect. Maybe the erect as well. Yeah, it's a second option. You could pinch really, really hard on the left. No. Yeah. If you've got insane pinch strength, yeah. so that's the third option. What were you doing with your right foot? Right, I wanted to get onto there, but I couldn't get my right foot high enough. There's something here which is very obviously a heel hook. Why would you put it there if it wasn't for my feet? Yeah. Weirdly, I just looked at it, went, nah, I can't get my foot there and ignored it. Uh, doesn't mean I can't get my foot there. And it's you just, just said it must be there for a reason. That's the fourth option. That is above my hip. But you're a small and flexible climber. I'm not flexible, but I am small. <laughs> so it really Walking. weights the left foot. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. there you go. Yeah, nice. <laughs> now you can, you're trying to get into the move. You can maybe substitute this right hand just to make getting into the second move a little bit more workable. So maybe you can substitute it for this, this mint or, or this one here or this one here. Uh -huh. Okay. Try and work the boulder, move by move. Might have to play around with something else or... Yeah, maybe that instead. That's it. And now you can work the heel and test that out. Oh, I can't get my body round. Yeah, it's tough. It's supposed to be V5, so you've got to work for it. Yeah, good, really good, really good. Uh, yeah, so you're testing out all the options. Yeah. That's what you should be doing. All the time I'm doing that, my battery, my energy is draining from my yeah. body. Yeah. So you have to say to yourself, like, how, lo how long am I going to spend here in seconds? Yes. You lose track of time when you're on the wall, yeah. maybe sometimes, <laughs> if you're focused on the boulder. But you want to be aware of how much strength you're using. Yeah to experiment. I felt quite nice about the idea of throwing and grabbing that, but if I missed, I didn't want to hurt my fingers. Yeah, yeah you don't so want I to don't like, dry fire off it. Yeah. Um, and I'm not used to doing those moves, so I don't know if it's a safe move to do or not. If you want to go more statically to that crimp, yep. then you have to find a more stable position mm. to set up in. I can see a position of hold that, 
foot here, kind of lean and just hold myself in while I reach like that. Yeah. Do you find you get really tired testing something like this? Usually it won't be too exertive because you have the idea of how you want it to climb because if you set it, you know the intended mm. and you can adjust the climb to make that work. Yeah. It's kind of like cheating, <laughs> <Yeah>. basically. <laughs> it is cheating, <laughs> but it's making a cool climb, like something that works, that yeah. maintains the difficulty. Uh, you also want to think about consistency of each move. So they should be roughly equal in uh, strength difficulty or technique difficulty. So yeah, let's have okay. a go at this first move. I'd love to see how you do it. So I think creating the, st the stable base to go up to here, because this is not easily matchable unless you've got really tiny hands mm. that you can split the hold in two. So for me, I'm going to aim to go right hand here to then go left hand here. You've got a bit of compression at the start, but the hand holds are slightly pointing upwards, so you need to get up into the boulder. Get a really good left foot. And I think frog position here. Yep. So the left hand becomes a side pull and then you can reach over and my, my base, although it's shaking, <laughs> uh, I can't hold it for too long. That was like five, six seconds. But getting up, yeah, and get into the frog position. So you're like squeezing. Your yeah. weight is going straight onto your feet and uh, the weight actually makes the feet better yeah. and makes that frog position wow. more secure. And this, yeah, because you're up here, it turns into a side pull yeah. rather than a pinch. Yes. And a side pull, you've got more Yep. You, a lot of climbers usually have more crimp strength than pinch strength. Yep. I found out the brand name is uh, Morpho Holds. Oh yeah. And these are some of their new holds. A mixture of pinches, different widths, and you can do cool stuff like stack them together. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to be able yeah, to do that, that move, just that one okay. move. <laughs> I'm, my fingers are sweating looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> so get straight up into it. So. Oh. So try and push more with your left foot because that's where the power's coming from yeah a little hop up into it that's it nice nice good and then squeeze your feet almost oh. almost <laughs> you're uh, micro adjusting the right foot yeah hang on you sure you rested you sure you rested we just had a couple minutes rest yes are you content with that yeah. but you're i can see you're very you're very excited <laughs> about get getting straight back on <laughs> as well. Yes, you, yeah. you're but we, we forced ourselves to take a minute's rest or yeah. so. And yeah. you feel fully recovered to have your best attempt. Yes, but I need to think of more than the first move. You want me to think about the side pull and not waste this extra attempt if I get there. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Michelle. Yeah, so good. That's it. Yeah, really good. Can you get your feet over here? Yeah, to one of those volumes. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and now, you, uh, now you're in unknown territory, yeah. so you're experimenting. <laughs> that worked though. It's really, really good. I didn't expect really that. Good. I didn't really think past there. Yeah, to get into the next section. Oh, uh, I want that one. You got the next dot foothold. I next. went up too far, so I was still down here when I put my foot up, wasn't I? Yeah, you changed from your plan to thinking in the moment. Yeah. And more instinctive climbing. Yes. Which is very hard when you're climbing at your limits. Now I want another go, I want to finish this. Yeah, and maybe what made the difference was taking that extra two minute rest. Yeah. So you had full strength. It wasn't so much the rest as you reining me in as I was about to just jump yeah. straight onto the wall. Yeah. And, so, and actually think about it, yeah. the next move. Luckily we have these uh, nice holds to get into the next section if you want as well. Oh, that's useful. Yeah, yeah I might go here and here, depending on what it feels like. Are you adjusting your beta to suit me? No, to suit me. completely different from what I had in mind. Okay, that's as far as I go. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. main difference is, I think, that initially. Yeah, yeah. Which is Move what you got into. Yeah, by mm. moving your feet across, you made moving up there look easier. Mm. I'm just testing the reach. What's arm span? <laughs> You're up to about here. 
Yes. They're about a hand. I think it's like within reach. So now you can choose your way to get into that crimp. That's so I've got yep. to here. Yeah. Toe hook. The left hand red, and you're in. Oh, oh nice, nice. That's relief. Can you go into the Gaston? Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. good effort. That always felt really close, but if I knew what the optimal position would be, I would have just done that. But it was like, this isn't quite working. There'll be something better. That's not quite working. This isn't quite working. It is a slight overhang. It, it is. It might not look it. And you have to be very accurate. Yeah. Ah, it wasn't just, it's momentum and you swung your hips to the left to the left yeah 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 because the next position is going to be this yeah so you're going to be hanging back yeah also you could test it with that okay so it's a less precise foothold but basically the same move so i'm there that's it yeah into gaston good so now the little push off the right foot or even static. Yep, that's super strong as well. <laughs> Come on. Oh. You could bump the right foot again if you wanted onto the next white or, or the red. Yeah, that's good. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah, good. I'm out. good. That was really good. <laughs> it seems impossible to move up from there. Let's have a look. So, this is what you do to practice the move. So, you hang off the right hand hold. The right white. Yeah. And maybe even the left. Because the climb, the red climb goes left hand down. Yeah. And right hand up. Yeah. So that you'd use these two jugs to practice that movement. Or even to this white as well. Your feet position yeah. is in the red climb. Yeah. But the hands, you're, you're practicing. Yeah on the white. That's Something how you work that move. Works. This is really where it gets tough. So this yes. is the, this is yeah. getting V5 territory, like yeah. physical V5 territory. Yeah. V5 strength. Strength wise. Yeah. When I was in that position just then, bumping the foot from here to here. Yeah. That's quite big. And it's also quite sideways. Yeah. So there's an aspect of, if I miss that, how am I gonna land? I was kind of thinking of that in the moment. Like if you miss this foot, yeah. you're, you're gonna go that way. Yeah. So you get ready no, to land perfect. that way as well, yeah. Another good tip is is kind of what we're doing is like recording yourself. Watch yourself back. Yeah. Because in the moment you don't realise like where your body is exactly yeah. or what you can adjust. A lot of us post our videos on Instagram when we climb here. Mm. And what goes through your mind when you watch our videos? Do you <laughs> do you oh, like it's, it? Oh. It's it's uh <laughs> yeah, it's like really heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> Always? <laughs> yeah, to see to see someone climbing your climb. Yeah. How do you feel when we break the beta? Because I do try sometimes to break the beta. It's, uh, usually it's quite funny. Yeah. And you just accept it. Yeah. Does it ruin the climb or does it create a new climb? Exactly. If it ruins the climb and you don't do it. Yeah. You, I think my shoulders are saying I am done for today. But yeah. that's been fantastic. Yeah. That's really super that. good progress. Yeah. Yeah, like, honestly, really, really well done. <laughs> but it's just trying. It's just fun getting onto those V5 moves. Mm. It doesn't really matter what grade you climb at. I just really enjoy like the process of learning these special moves or these techniques and doing like getting on bits of them and yeah, exactly. like working stuff out. Yeah. It's physical problem solving. Yeah. Before you go, can we end on you climbing this red? Oh, sure. <laughs> I can give it a go, yeah, sure. Have you climbed it since you set it in entirety? No, no, but I've watched <laughs> people on it. And that's also a really good way to gather feedback and yeah. experience yeah. seeing how other climbers climb your blocks. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can both breathe again. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, cheers. All right, see you next time. <laughs> we'll do. I really wanted to send this one, 
But although I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't get much further, I'm also happy that I progressed it this far. And it shows you don't have to be a V5 climber to try a V5 block. <laughs>